Hey guys, how you doing today? So on our way from Switzerland to Florence, we decided to stop in the city of Turin, or Torino. It's the capital of the Piedmont region in Italy. It's up in the northwestern part. We only have a weekend here. It's a huge city, so we obviously can't see all of it, but it's known for architecture, it's food, museums, all sorts of stuff. So we're gonna go try to see as much stuff as we can and just show you around and take you with us. So this street is called Via Garibaldi. It's a pretty big shopping district that we've found. So we're in Piazza Castello, which is like a thousand year old plaza. Very lively on the weekend. It's got a bunch of museums. There's the famous Palazzo Madama. Now what is this? Musea Reali. I don't know what that means in Italian, right? I would think it would be pronounced Reali or something. Reali? Okay. I don't speak Italian, so <laughs> enjoy me butchering all of this. I probably right? butchered it too, it's, so don't it's worry. Cool. So this is the back of the palace. It's the original medieval castle. It's probably been restored a couple of times, but it's pretty cool looking. We're gonna go check out this museum now. It's another museum if you wanna check it out, church museum. Yeah, there's supposed to be just tons of museums here. See, and here's me being a Terrible travel show host. I don't even know what that is. It's just like another castle-y looking thing. I feel like it's hard to know what every building in Europe I is. Know, I, know. <laughs> I guess it's called the Porta Palantina, which is a Roman period gate. Pretty wild though, about that with Europe, right? Just like some casual Roman ruins just dotted. Yeah, they're everywhere. Seems totally unremarkable to the locals, but it is pretty cool. <laughs> Wow, look at that view right there, it's amazing. I know. Are you recording me? Of course. Something this is, this is like the shoe. real travel moment, Rand. You know, look at you. We're good now. And we're at a major site. Now we are in front of probably the most iconic building in Turin. This is the Mole Antonelliana. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I'm trying. Uh, it was originally built as a synagogue, but now it holds their cinema museum. This place is huge with cinema, so. Definitely, if you ever come here and you're planning a trip to that cinema museum, go early. That line was crazy. It probably, must be a really good museum, though. Uh, yeah, probably. But the probably doesn't home. help. It's Saturday. That that's true too. But just go on be prepared. Weekday. Yeah, exactly. Where are we going? The River Po. Ooh. <laughs> The city it reminds me a lot of parts of Paris. Just walking around, just the, the style it was built in, and I mean, it's obviously Italian, but... <laughs> Alan agrees. This is actually really beautiful. It's really what? It's really beautiful. It is. I wasn't expecting this. So right now we are on our way to a hill that's supposed to have a nice viewpoint of the city and the city skyline. And uh, it's supposed to have a nice little park and stuff too. So we're gonna go check that out. Yeah, and lunch. Yeah, we need to get food soon here too. Wow, I can't wait to show you this view. It is incredible. I don't know if it's where we are, but it is intensely more crowded here at night. I feel like I'm bumping into somebody every like half second. It's 
So one of the things that you have to do when you're in Torino, according to pretty much everyone, is get a thick hot chocolate and man, it is thick. <laughs> one that is a hazelnut. Like look at that. That doesn't even look like hot chocolate. That looks like melted chocolate. Same thing. So you eat it with a spoon. It's like eating a melted chocolate bar. <laughs> It's like eating melted Nutella. <laughs> really good though. Do you even like Nutella? Cream. What? Do you even like Nutella? I love Nutella. Then why don't we ever eat it? it? Has plum oil. I don't think I could eat more than, like maybe half of this would have been appropriate. There's this part at the bottom where the, the chocolate kind of starts to cook and it makes it kind of fudgy and thick. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I feel like I've had my week's worth of dessert <laughs> in that one. One little dish. It's even more crowded than it was. Yeah, it keeps getting more and more and more crowded as the night goes on. It's weird. This is crazy. This is probably the busiest place we've been since COVID started. Yeah, so probably. It's, it's just insane being back in a full, completely open city again with millions of people. Like a festival, but it's just Saturday. I know, it's so pretty too. I love yeah. it. This is cool. I'm enjoying Torino by night. It was cool during the day too, but... This is better. Yeah. It is now our last day in Torino. Uh, last night, we weren't able to get into any restaurants, so we just ordered some amazing Uber Eats pizza. Apparently you need a reservation if you're trying to go out on Saturday night. It is busy. Anyways, today we still want to go see a big open market. It's supposed to be the biggest in Europe. And then we're also going to go see a palace. And I think that'll wrap up what we need to see here. We found it. So this is the Boulogne Market, but it is a large antiques market that happens the second Sunday of every month. And we just happen to be here on the second Sunday. So we're just gonna walk around and check it out. I love antiques markets. There are always so many weird things. <laughs> I mean, imagine putting this thing in like your garage or your living room. <laughs> You know you need a ceramic leopard in your house. I do, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what makes me unsure if this is actually the biggest market is I read uh, online that it is, but it also said there were food stands and some more like, crafts and more modern stuff. And this seems like a purely flea market. So I'm not sure if this is actually the biggest one, but it is a huge flea market. It looks like we're here at about the end of the day, but that's okay because we need some time to go try to find that palace and check that out. Alan's not feeling too good after all the secondhand smoke. <laughs> yeah, more of a food court than a market. Not what I was expecting. I love it, like mall food court equivalent. People are out with their wine. <laughs> yeah. So European. Wow. Those look really good. To eat now, please, thank you. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> So excited. Ooh, it seems nice and crunchy. Despite having been sitting out and like going in a microwave, the crunch is pretty perfect, I can tell. Honestly, that's better than the like fresh ones we've had before. Sorry, Abby. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Not yours, Abby. Yours with the sauce. <laughs> but this is great, too. We haven't loved this type of pizza in the past, but... Yeah, it's good when you get a fresh, but... We'll see. Looks pretty good, though. Some sausage and mushrooms and olives. <laughs> I like that. I think it's really good. All right, let's go. Some Roman ruins. The 
This has probably been my second favorite part besides the Palazzo Real. This is the Borgo Mediviale. It's a medieval castle. This is pretty much the last big thing that we wanted to go see. It's kind of getting dark out too, so we're probably not going to do much else. But let's go check out this castle. Okay, I love this. This is so cool. Everything is like themed too. The shops have like dragons and stuff, and that shop over there has like old timey swords. I love this stuff with the medieval theme, okay? And it, it's like being on a little medieval street. We haven't seen anything like this yet. No. It is our last little bit of time here and we just got invited to go get some drinks with my friend who lives here. He's Italian. Uh, he was an exchange student at my high school and we did student government together. So I haven't seen him in like 10 years. Should be fun. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go drink so much Aperol spritz. Yeah, probably. So much, like like several liters worth of Aperol spritz. I don't really like Aperol spritz. <laughs> <laughs> 